Hello friends, this video on organisms and their surroundings part 8 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Well, not to forget. And when you talk about the abiotic components, so they are the non-living components. So they would include, in, again in case of a forest ecosystem, the abiotic components would be soil, water and air. So if there is no soil or no water or no air, the living components will not be able to survive in a forest. Therefore, the forest habitat will not exist at all. So for any habitat to exist, we need these two components. Now the question is, how do these abiotic factors affect the living organisms? How the abiotic factors play an important role in the abiotic components? So let us look at a simple scenario or a simple example. Now, if you have a small plant in a pot in your garden and you want that plant to grow, so what do you need to do? If you just leave it like that, will it grow? It will not. So there are certain inputs which are needed for the plant for its growth. For example, you need to water it every day. It, it needs to get sunlight. So you need to place it in such a place that it receives sunlight. You have to put water and it, it, it has to be potted on the soil and the soil should have enough uh, nutrients for the plant. And then over a period of time, you would gradually see the plant growing. Now what would happen if you do not provide these non-living components to the plant? Let's say you have taken the same plant and you have kept it inside a dark room where there is no sunlight at all and you have stopped watering the plants. So what will happen after a couple of days, maybe within 3-4 days, you will start observing that the leaves will start to droop down, the color of the leaves will change from green to brown or yellowish and gradually the plant will die. So the plant will not be able to survive. So what does this prove? This proves that there are certain factors which affect the plant growth. And these factors are like light, water, soil, air. So these are the factors which are needed by a plant. So if we do not provide all these to the plant, the plant will not be able to survive. So basically this is an example which illustrates that all the biotic components, whether it is a plant or an animal or an insect or a bird, all the biotic components, they need the presence of the abiotic components for their own survival. So now you might have another interesting question in mind. That okay, so we understand that the abiotic factors are important in a habitat. But do these abiotic factors also change with time? Like how we learned that the organisms gradually adapt to the environment. So the organisms or the living components, they adjust to, to survive in a habitat. But what about the abiotic factors? Do they ever change or they always remain the same? So let's go off a desert. Now in a desert, what are the abiotic factors? Abiotic factors, that is the non-living components of a desert. It could be the soil and what kind of soil do we have in a desert, dry, so dry sandy soil, no rain or less rain, hot days, cold nights. So these are some of the uh, abiotic factors in a desert, right? Now, do you think that all these characteristics or all these features of the desert will change with time? Well, it will. It will change with time. But these kind of changes take long, long time. So it takes like thousands and thousands of years for such changes to take place. In fact, a lot of deserts that we see today, for example, when you look at the desert Sahara, so it is like a huge desert. But do you know that Long, long time ago, that was not at all a desert. That was a place which had huge trees. It was a grassland where you had grasses, trees, greenery everywhere. But over a very, very long period of time, gradually due to many different uh, factors, it got converted into a desert. So it is very much possible that the abiotic factors in a region can also change with time. So it might happen that this desert might change into a place where you have more trees. So that time the type of the soil would change, the amount of rain will also change, the climatic condition, the temperature during the days and the nights might also change. So you might see a change in the abiotic factors, but the abiotic factors do not change all of a sudden. It takes very, very long time. 
So adaptation is a process that takes long time. So in general, adaptation is a process that takes long time. So when you look at the same example, which I was, I hinted some time back, the green Sahara, the Sahara used to be a green place. It used to be a fertile grassland, which had huge number of trees. The soil was very fertile, which supported the growth of plants. But what happened over several years, it turned into Sahara desert. Why did what happened to the Sahara desert now? So now if you look at it, it is the world's largest desert covers almost one third of the African continent. So such a huge stretch of land which was well fertile, well covered with trees got converted into a, a, a place where there are no trees, hot days, cold nights covered with sand. So this conversion, do you think that this conversion happened overnight? Of course not. This conversion took in about thousands of years. So it took that long a time for a grassland to get converted into a desert. But now if we talk about the abiotic factors of Sahara, what would you see? The abiotic factors during this period was different than the abiotic factors during this period. Right? So we see that the abiotic components also change. But these kind of changes take long, long time. So the term adaptation is obviously applicable to living organisms because they adjust themselves to live in an environment but the adaptation word is also indirectly applicable to the non-living components because they also change with time. But adaptation in general is a process that takes... Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.